This is the first time since the 1980s that the yield of a global 50-50 portfolio is below expected inflation. As a result, global investors need to diversify into asset classes, markets and themes in ways they've never done before. Higher yields, lower inflation, superior growth and cheap currencies are in our view a compelling argument for emerging Asian assets. Among all of the asset classes we consider, we expect emerging Asian equities to deliver the best returns over the next five years. At 11% per annum, on our forecasts, emerging Asia should outperform US equities by close to 35% over this period. This would be driven mainly by superior earnings growth and currency appreciation. In addition, Asia provides natural diversification across economic cycles with a mix of large countries with well-balanced sector mix in China and India, world leaders in technology through Korea and Taiwan, and a diverse set of smaller countries across Asia, such as Vietnam, that stand to benefit the most from growing intra-regional trade. Stocks within Asia are much less correlated to each other compared to other regions, and hence provide not just diversification benefits, but also more opportunity to outperform benchmarks through stock picking. Asia is not only the world's fastest growing region, but it is also arguably one that is transforming the most rapidly. These changes from demographics and economic models to changing consumer behavior and corporate structures bring several exciting opportunities. And despite a similar tilt towards tech stocks, Asia trades on a sizable discount to the US. But there would also be some pitfalls to avoid. The rapidly aging population in parts of the region, especially China, geopolitical tensions, the impact of climate change, and governance standards which are still catching up to the developed markets are key risks to monitor and navigate around. Careful consideration and active stock selection, we believe, is key. While there is some opportunity to gain indirect exposure to Asia through, for instance, luxury goods and miners, developed market companies have only had a mixed track record of success in expanding in Asia. Moreover, exposure across the fastest growing sectors is hard to achieve through indirect plays. We believe that the rapidly evolving market and regulatory framework is best navigated by domestic corporations. Chinese government bonds offer attractive yields in a currency we expect to continue strengthening. In our view, China's bonds are increasingly behaving like a safe haven asset class. Emerging Asian credit, on the other hand, offers opportunities to those seeking income, but without taking on the FX risk. So, what might be the optimal weight of Asia in a global portfolio? In our analysis, investors should almost triple the weight of Asian equities and bonds in their portfolios to hit a 4% real return, which is broadly in line with the long-term average. In our efficient frontier of expected five-year returns, Emerging Asia plays a prominent role. China's government bonds offer the best return to risk ratio of all the asset classes, while Emerging Asian equities clearly offer a much higher return than other asset classes with a similar level of risk. On our forecast, the expected returns of such a portfolio, which also includes inflation-protected bonds, market-neutral funds and gold, are more than double a global 50-50 portfolio for only a 20% increase in risk.